Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello everyone, this is Gayatri Kota working as Cloud Research Associate in Miracles Software Systems. In today's video, I am going to discuss about deploy and manage your applications from AWS Code Commit to Elastic Beanstack. Here is the agenda. Today, I'll discuss about what is AWS CLI, introduction to code commit and Elastic Beanstack, which one to choose, either Elastic Beanstack or EC2. Architecture followed by live demo. AWS CLI is an open source tool built on top of the AWS SDK for Python that provides commands for interacting with AWS services. By using Linux, Windows, remote terminals, we can execute commands. To run commands in Linux, macOS or Unix, we can use common shell programs such as Bash, ZSH and TSH. Use Microsoft Windows to run commands in either PowerShell or the Windows command processor. To run commands on Amazon EC2 instances through a remote terminal such as Putty or SSH or with Amazon EC2 Systems Manager. We can check whether AWS CLI is installed in our local machine by this command. AWS space hyphen hyphen version. AWS code commit is a version control service that we can privately store and manage assets and we can store code securely and can easily integrate with other AWS services. Here, we can clone a Git repo to our local machine and can make changes to it. After completion of changes, we can push it into our AWS code commit repo. AWS Elastic Beanstack is an application management platform that helps customers easily deploy and scale web applications and services. It supports Java, PHP, Node.js, and Docker, etc. Elastic Beanstack Within a very few minutes and few clicks, we will be able to deploy and use a sample application or upload our own application into Elastic Beanstack. In case of EC2, we need to select AMI and have to install the operating system manually. Here, Elastic Beanstack falls under PaaS, so the user only needs to take care of the data and application. The management of the rest of the layers lies in hands of the service provider. Simple deployment. As it is PaaS, Developers can focus on developing their application and are freed from deployment-oriented tasks such as provisioning servers, setting up load balancing, or managing scaling. It is fast. As I said earlier, within few clicks, we can deploy our application and the burden will be less on user. We can integrate with AWS services. With Elastic Beanstack, we can access built-in Amazon CloudWatch monitoring and getting notifications and can integrate it with other AWS services. EC2 falls under IIS. Here, AWS takes the responsibility of networking, storage, server, and virtualization, and the user is responsible for managing the operating system, middleware, runtime, data, and application. Easy management. Managing servers in the cloud is becoming easy now. In AWS, we can add load balancer and auto scaling after creation of server also. Scalability. By using auto scaling, we can scale up and down the servers. If a server goes down, another server will automatically spin based on the requirements we gave. Quick and reliable cloud servers. As AWS offers simple, elastic, reliable features, spinning the servers and installations of whole environment become easy. Here, we are pushing our own application into AWS code commit by using AWS CLI. And after, we are pushing that application into Elastic Beanstack by using Elastic Beanstack CLI. Thereby, we will get a URL to our application. Then user can easily use that application. Now I will show a live demo on code commit with Elastic Beanstack. Initially we need to install AWS command line interface on Git locally. So we will check whether AWS CLI is installed in our local machine or not by this command. AWS space FM version. It is installed in my local machine. First we need to create a code commit repo. So for that, open AWS dashboard and from there, click on code commit. Click on get started and name it. Sample demo and click on create repository. Here is my sample application. So by using command prompt, I am pushing it into AWS code commit repository. So for that, we need to set our path. CD space. 
डाउनलोड यूरी स्पेस सैम्पल डेमो First of all, we need to initialize the git by using git space init. And after that, we need to add these files into git. So for that, I'm using this command git space add. We need to commit these files. Git space commit space hyphen m. Give a message. Hit enter. I am pushing these files into code commit. Git space push space hyphen hyphen set upstream. We need to provide HTTPS link from code commit. Copy and paste here. Paste branch name. The process is completed. Now open code commit and refresh the page. Here is my sample application. So now we need to push our application into Elastic Beanstack. So for that, give EB space in it. We are initializing the Elastic Beanstack here. Here I am using Tokyo region. So I am giving it as a 9. It's asking for application name. I'm using Node.js, so press Y. Now I am creating Elastic Beanstack environment. So for that, EB space, create space, name. Sample demo. Now the process is completed. Open EC2 dashboard. Click on EC2. Here one instance will be in a running state. Here it is. After getting 2 by 2 checks, we need to deploy our application. So for that use EB space deploy. After completion of this process, open Elastic Beanstack, click on Elastic Beanstack. Here is my application. It will provide a URL. Click on that. Here is my application which I have uploaded before. From here, user can easily access their application. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.